Guys, I have something amazing right now. I got my camera back. Wow. You know, I was I was actually to the point where I just accepted that it was gone and I can't believe it. This guy, he called me. I woke up. It's right it's uh what time is it right now? It's 9 a.m. right now, second day of the expo. And I woke up to six missed phone calls and a text message. Look at this. Amazing. God is good, guys. God is good. Headed to the expo right now. It's gonna be another great day. You keep walking on my sunny days. Guys are blue and other whole cloudy. And I've tried to find a better ground. But somehow you bring me down, you. Tetris block you out. You keep walking on a sunny day. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I found it, dude. I woke up to like six That's missed hard calls. To put a, uh, a note out. Yeah. Yeah, I left that on top of the vending machine. Yeah, I knew it. And I just called him right back, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm right across the hallway." I'm currently waiting in the bang line. I want. I need some caffeine. You play games, boy. Tetris block you out. You keep walking on a sunny day. Says a good Update on the bang, it tastes like one of those red, white, and blue popsicles. Pretty good. The ghost line. I got a picture with Christian yesterday, but I wanna I wanna say a few words to him. Just tell him how much of an inspiration he was to me. This is my dude Spence. He actually recognized me from my first YouTube video, which is crazy. But uh man, he's my brother. He's my brother. Finally met my man Christian. Huge inspiration for me. Man. Yeah. Follow this guy right here. Man, this dude Nadim. Hey, what's up, guys? Follow this guy right here. Man, he's working hard from Slovenia, right? Yeah. That's that's my advice. Just go all in. I left my job to follow my dream. You know, he made sacrifices to follow his dream. But uh, this is my dude. This is my dude. We met on social media. Yeah, man, this is awesome. On my way to Chipotle. The GPS said it's like a 40 minute walk, but it's only 1.8 miles away. So I don't know who to believe. I'm walking real fast. But I just met Nadim Rabats. He's from Slovenia. He's all about Alphalese, inspired by Christian Guzman as well. We, we kind of started like an Instagram friendship. And I finally met him, which is really cool. And he invited me to, to work out at Gold's at around like between six and seven. And to get a sick pump in and hopefully get some sick footage as well.
stop here to get some water because I know I'll need it later. You know, before I came to LA, I never knew UFC was actually was actually in downtown LA. Never knew it, but that'd be a cool place to go to school. Just got my Chipotle. I got two bowls, one pre-workout, one post-workout because I'm, I know I'm gonna be hungry later. And I just ordered a request an Uber. So I'm probably gonna eat this, take a quick nap before I go work out and kill the weights with Nadeem. It's gonna be so fun. Just got back to my room. About to demolish this. Watch a couple YouTube videos while I eat that and then take a nap. Didn't take a nap. About to get a uh, Uber to go to Venice. Got some water and this goes pre-workout that I'm gonna take. I probably shouldn't take it because it's 7 p.m. at night, but I need some energy. So I gotta get an epic workout in. By the way, you ever had this water, Deja Blue? It sucks. It's the worst water I've ever had. I don't know why people sell it or people buy it. I don't know why. It has like a sweet aftertaste. It's disgusting. But actually, that's probably good if it's mixed with pre-workout then. If it's a little extra sweet. Even though Pimmer got sweet enough, right? See you guys at the gym. Hey everybody, this is my man Kendrick. He's actually the guy that found my camera. What's up, bro? Man, he's from Chicago. The world needs more good people like him. Man, I can't be losing your shit in LA, bro. I know, I know right? I thought it was a lost cause, but God bless you, man. Man, that's what's up, it's all good, bro. Yeah. What's up, man? Thanks, man. That's what's up. You have, you have a great I'll night. Your boy, man. Yeah, follow this guy. I'll put his link right here. Yeah, that's what's up. I just yeah. show all my info. Alright, man. That's what's up, man? Thanks. What's up, man? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, enjoy you enjoying the stadium? Yeah, 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 definitely. Up, oh, by the way, man, Kendrick, he is a great dude, guys. About to go to the gym, get a great pump in, let's go. Get the Mecca. About to crush this workout. Boy Nadim, he's doing a push day. I'm doing, do, I'm doing a pull day. Let's do uh, inclined dumbbells. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's do I'm gonna do some inclined dumbbells too. Oh, six. 
everybody. You got some good results though. I'm sure. You know I'm actually European too. My parents are immigrants yeah. from Croatia. I'm Slovenia. Croatia is not below. Yeah, yeah. So, so I have like one hour to like Pula or Rijeka. Croatia was my first language. Yeah. And I didn't learn English until like five years old. It's big green. I can understand everything. I can, I can hold like a basic conversation. I'm not just stop with Da da. Mala mala. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Kind of just uh, doing what's open, you know. I forgot what I was gonna say. There you go. For sure. There you go. Here we can go. There you go. Everyone's gonna be good for below. Count Von Moga over there. One big dude. Come on! What's up guys? So right now it's currently 12.30. My flight leaves tomorrow at 9.30. But anyways, I just want to encourage everybody to go all in on their dream. Just go all in. I came here, this trip to LA, I was so hesitant about it. One of the reasons why I was so, so unsure if it was the right decision is because I totally emptied my bank account. And it turned out to be one of the best decisions of my life. I met so many people, I learned so much. I just, oh, I feel so content with my decision. And uh, that's why I wanna encourage you to go all in, guys, because I went all in and I couldn't be happier. I was talking to my friend, he called me. He's dealing with, with stuff with his girlfriend and everything always revolves back to God and I know a lot of people are gonna be mad with this video and a lot of people are gonna reject what I'm saying not believe me but a lot of people they will believe me they will agree with me and this this is for you okay so if you trust in God if you're humble enough to put his plan for you over your plan for yourself which tends to be materialistic and his plan for you tends to be for your true happiness and contentness in life if you're humble enough you will be truly happy you'll be truly content and you will never seriously worry in life that's why I'm so happy that's why I don't let things affect me I lost my camera I lost like my dream is to be a fitness YouTuber, okay? I need a camera for that. All, all I have is iPhone 7. I mean, I can get away with that, but like, I need, I need an actual camera. You know what I mean? So I was devastated. I cried. I actually cried, and then I prayed, and then I realized I still have the same goals as before I even came to LA. Before I even came to LA, I still have the same goals, you know. And then I realized you know, I'm just gonna have to work that much harder tomorrow, which is no problem. You just gotta make up for it. And also, if I preach, if I'm preaching positivity, I'd be a hypocrite if I can't look past that situation, that adversity, and respond to it with a smile on my face, with hopefulness, and above all, with gratitude. Be grateful. I was up until three in the morning. I couldn't sleep, okay? Probably because I was so upset with the camera. Probably because I ate a giant Subway sandwich too, right before bed. But anyways, that's not the point. I was, I was talking to God, I was praying, and I was just thinking like, I'm so incredibly blessed and just thankful that I even have an iPhone to film on, you know what I mean? Like as a second, as a plan B. There's people that don't have anything. They don't have, they don't have nice clothes. They don't have underwear. They don't have 
clean socks, they don't have showers. There's homeless people in LA that they, I was walking past, like they smell. And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but that's just, that's a perspective that opens your eyes. And it's all about perspective, guys. If you can take a crappy situation and turn it around, you will never, ever be unhappy, okay? Ever. And more importantly, if you, if you don't rely on any material thing, if you don't rely on any person for your happiness, if it comes from God, if, it, if, if you generate your own happiness, you will never be unhappy. You will always be content because that's where happiness comes from. It's a state of mind, all right? Like pure joy comes from doing what you're meant to be doing. And what you're meant to be doing is what God's plan is for you. And God's plan is better than, better than you, me, anybody could ever imagine. If at the end of the day, you look at what you did that day and you know you gave it 110%, you gave your best effort to work towards that goal that you have, you're going to be content, all right? And it's not gonna happen overnight, guys. It's not gonna happen overnight. I know a year, a year ago I was depressed. A year ago I, I was feeling, I had five Fs in college. I, I didn't know why I was going to college. I, I, I was just going to college because my friends were going. My parents wanted me to go. I had no idea what I was doing. No idea. I fell down on the ground and I prayed and I had tears streaming down my face. And you know what happened? I have a huge sticker collection on the side of my cabinet at my parents' house. After I ended the prayer, I saw on the ground there was a sticker. Well, it wasn't a sticker, it was just stuck onto that cabinet. It was face down. It was my name tag from the first day of school in fourth grade, all right? I went to Lutheran school, Christian school. The theme was stop signs, all right, street signs. And all those street signs said different things. One of them said God at work. One of them said yield for God trusting God and that was literally in that moment I broke down I prayed for a sign and literally <laughs> literally God has a sense of humor you know he gave me a straight sign with a theme of street signs right how crazy is that I'll actually put a picture here but and that just gave me goosebumps right now give me goosebumps back then and if that's not something that changes your whole mindset I don't know what can. I met this guy at Gold's. He's social media famous. I learned a lot, definitely. But he was just talking about how much money you could make with this. Clickbait, clickbait this, clickbait that. Exploiting people. And I'm thinking, screw the money, right? If I was in it for the money, I would sell, I'd be a sellout to cookie cutter programs. I would have stayed at the job that I was at. I was making a lot of money, guys. I was making anywhere from four to $9,000 a month at 21 years old. And that's like a lot of money for a, for a kid. It's a lot of money for a kid. Like I was completely, I, I wasn't looking at price tags, all right? If I wanted something, I would buy it. And it was a great feeling. It was a feeling of comfort, it was a feeling of security, uh, financial security, it was great. It was great, but I had a hole in my heart. My heart was empty. And that's why I had to quit because because I wasn't helping anybody except myself and the people I worked for make money and that's all they cared about, money. I'm not in this for the money, guys. I'm not in this for the money, guys. I'm in this for, to change somebody's life because if I, if I, if I came back Oh, also, in that prayer, I prayed, just, I just prayed, guys. I trusted God. I told God that I trusted him, and I told God that I needed a job, right? I don't know why. I just, I'm like, God, I need a job. A week later, my friend texts me, hey, I have a job opportunity for you. Make a lot of money, <laughs> which is ironic, because at that time, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know I didn't want the money, but that was a crucial learning point for me. It was a crucial turning point in my whole life. It was very necessary. Like I said, one of my favorite quotes, Steve Jobs, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking back. And like when you're, when you're truly following what you want to do, if you look back, it all just meshes together and makes sense. And I just want to challenge you all just to take a step back, look at your life, figure out what you truly want, and then self-analyze what you're doing and see if you're actually actively working towards that goal. Because chances are, chances are you're not. Well, I wasn't. I still don't sometimes. You know, I'm not perfect. I'll admit that. But if you just are consistent more than 50% of the time, you don't have to worry. You're gonna, you're gonna be successful. You don't have to just work at it, guys. Just trust God. Work at it. That's my encouragement for you guys tonight. I'll probably leave here at 6:30 a.m. just because I don't want to get stuck in LA traffic and miss my flight because that would be horrible. But uh, this trip to LA was the best decision of my life. I met so many people, made friends with so many people. I executed on everything I wanted to do. Filmed so much great footage. Wow, my heart's just content, guys, and. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I really took the step into the comfort zone. I came here by myself. I didn't know anybody, okay? I did not know anybody. Yeah, sure, I, you know, I was gonna meet a couple people that I knew, like, 
two people I met over social media, like my Instagram. But I didn't really know them. I didn't know if I would get along with them. We did end up, you know, getting along great. I ended up meeting more people. And my time, my time in LA, I was, I was rarely alone. The only time I was alone is, was when I was in this room. And I'm just so blessed. I'm just so blessed, guys. Blessed. I challenge you all just to, just to be grateful today. Every day, just be grateful, guys. What's up guys, it's 6.27 in the morning. Boy, it's at 9.30, I'm about to, I packed up, finished packing up all my stuff, left the tip for the room. Oh, I'm so sore and so tired. Can't wait to sleep on this plane. But yeah, guys, I'm excited to get home, see my family, see Nick, see Arnold. I'm just excited, guys. It's been a great trip. for watching so much give me a thumbs up and thank you for any new subscribers I appreciate it so much until the next video